Hello and welcome to a special Johnny's Kitchen uh, video, an uh, awesome collection. Uh, we've got a pop culture collection here. We've got some Kellogg's cereal boxes. Uh, not just any cereal boxes. Cereal boxes featuring the banana splits, a very popular uh, Saturday morning hour-long show. Uh, from 1968 to 70 and then they repeated it and then they just kind of revived it not too many years ago the characters These aren't actually originals because they're very very hard to come by uh, These are some cool reproductions. They're all around. We're going to take a look at them. They got cool stuff on the back So you want to see that? Uh, and these are also uh, reproductions of the bilingual boxes of uh, Canada Ah, uh, we've got Puffa Puffa Rice. Oh, I love that. Ah, uh, that was my favorite of that old type of cereal that they don't make that by Kellogg's brand anymore, but uh, I think they make it in kind of generic and they may make it in something else. Of course, you recognize Fruit Loops still going strong. I think they still make Apple Jacks. And I think Honey Smacks might have uh, ended, I'm not sure. Uh, and we've got uh, the four banana splits featured on each one of the boxes. Ah, uh, we've got Drooper, the Lion, Snorky, the Elephant, Bingo. He's either an orangutan or a gorilla. And then we got Flegel, the Beagle Dog. Uh, you can take a look here, and we're going to look at the back. Really cool stuff. On what they're advertising. And for some reason, see some of them say 10 ounces. Some of them are nine ounces. Uh, so they had all kinds of offers and contests. Uh, let's pull one over and take a look. Uh, Drooper was uh, nominally the the boss of the bunch. He was voiced by an actor that did uh, uh, lots of... Uh, shows and TV. He was on uh, Gomer Pyle as Sergeant Hacker. He was on uh, Brady Bunch as Sam the Butcher. He was way back in the Bill Co days on that. He was on Archie Bunker's place and All in the Family as Barney Hefner. And he also did tons of uh, Alan Melville. It took a while to remember the name. Uh, tons of acting as well as uh, voiceovers. You can see it's reprinted all the way around. Let's take a look here. Also, uh, a cool flashlight. Send that in. Uh, take a look at the next one here the Fruit Loops. Ah, uh, we love Fruit Loops. Uh, Kellogg's, they sponsored a lot of uh, shows in 1960. Oh, this is one of the cooler ones. Look what's on here. Look at them. Gorgeous paint jobs on these. Champion Sizzler's Hot Wheels sets. Hot Wheels Road Runner sets. Creepy Crawler Thin Maker sets. So if the, these boxes were you know, original, they'd be hundreds of dollars pushing up to a thousand dollars to get a super mint one. It's very hard to get cereal boxes because obviously hardly anybody saved them. Uh, and people do collect them. I do have some vintage food items. And I've done videos on that and that'll be in the link. Ah, uh, so that's very cool. That one might be the best one yet there. Uh, this one's actually cool too. Uh, like a day, go, day glow looking uh, poster. See the year there? I have a couple of these by uh, Funko and the Wacky Wobblers. Don't know if they made them yet as uh, the new soda cans by them. Or if they ever did them as... Uh, Pops, they might have, because they do a lot of old uh, style 
and these guys, these were live men in suits, and they had the, it was a variety hour where they'd have music. Some of the music was done by, pro, uh, I mean, all of the music was done by professionals that they hired for Hanna-Barbera, including uh, some folks that went into uh, known groups like <clears throat> Three Dog Night and some of the Modown sound. So that's cool. And then they had uh, cartoons and then had live action series. And one of those uh, had uh, young Jan Michael Vincent actor that was popular in the 70s and the 80s. Ah, uh, so that's cool. Oh, look at him. He's riding in his banana buggy, an ATV like the G.I. Joe ATV. That was real. I'm going to drive around in that all terrain vehicle. Uh -huh, let's like, take a look at this one. I don't know how many people remember the banana splits, but I do. Uh, so this one's basically like that one. Now let's turn this around. I'll take a group shot there. And see there's some of the offers. I got these, I guess, over 10 years ago. I forget what I paid for them. Wasn't that much comparison to uh, if you tried to ever get the real boxes. Take a look at the front again. Ah, banana splits. So if you're a kid in the late 60s into the 70s, you might remember them. And like I said, they, they kind of revived it. I don't know how popular and exactly what form it is, but they did do stuff for it. All righty, until next time, more awesome collection. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing.